Carlo Renee, and it's time for Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. That's right, every Friday we do it right here in my kitchen at 7 o'clock p.m. Mm -hmm. Yes! You can go to my website and catch up on um, all the videos that I've done so far. I think this is like 31 or 32, so um, get caught up, boo. The website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls at S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online. I'm so excited! <laughs> I have been anxiously looking forward to Friday night and hanging out with you guys. Um, so, yeah. Hi, Sister Cheryl. Yes! Thank you, Tamisha. Thank you. I try to zhuzh up for y'all just a little bit. If I don't do nothing but face, lashes, and brows, child. Face, lashes, and brows. Um, yeah, so um, I do it on Friday nights and then for Zoom meetings. Try to make sure I have face, lashes, and brows <laughs> so that I look like somebody. But um, yes, I'm very comfortable in my own skin, but I do like a little, little contour, honey. Mm-hmm. Got to put some contour on this face. Oh my goodness. Welcome, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are surviving uh, this social distancing um, while still finding some creative ways to be together. And um, I don't know, maybe you're someone who's uh, really tapped into a talent that you've had or um, found some new gift or have just really taken this time to just delve into what's really most important. Um, I know for me, I have like family, uh, super important for me. So I got to be able to talk to mom and dad every day. <laughs> Um, got to be able to check in with my sister's girlfriend. So it's, I'm, I'm taking so much more joy in, um, those strong bonds, those relationships. Um, they are keeping me grounded. They are keeping me sane. And you tonight, it's just another level of therapy, honey. So... I am good. I am really, really good. I'm I'm better than I deserve, like Chris Cuomo says. I think that's such a, a great way to put it. I'm, I'm better than I deserve. Um, I have been blessed immensely. Immensely. Um, from people that I love, some people that I... I only know in small ways, but people have been showing me such kindness and such love. Um, as a matter of fact, I gotta, I'm gonna share something with you. Okay, so, um, so for me, um, when that happens, it's like, I can't, I can't hoard all the love. I gotta be able to, to give it back. Um, so, um, but I'm gonna read something that, hi, brother, I'm gonna tell you in just a second, I got Brian on here, Lusta, uh, thank you so much, Jennifer, oh my gosh, yes, yes, my cousin Kelvin, hey, y'all, thank you, so, um, out of the blue, the, okay, I'm going to read this and pray my eyes don't sweat. Okay, so I'm going to read. Believe in yourself. I'll explain to you why this is so very important to me after I read it. But the card says, believe in yourself. Okay, I'm going to read it. I sure do. You are beautiful, inspiring, and strong, and you deserve good things. Wishing you everything good now and always. Much success. Sowing seed into your ministry. Love, sis. Cheryl. That's from my big sister. <laughs> and I, um, 
this, this could not have come at a more perfect time for me. You ever, um, I don't care how good you may think you are at something, um, we're all insecure about some things. Um, even things that we feel we're good at. And when I tell you, like, um, I've been having those little moments that creep in where it's just like, you know, things just try to get in your head and make you think that you're not as good as, as you think you are. Um, which none of us should think more highly of ourselves than we ought to because we know where our gifts come from. Um, but just to, just to have some, uh, encouragement to keep going and keep believing in yourself. That, um, uh, that is, uh, forcing me to really keep my grind going. Uh, so I'm grateful. I'm grateful for all the encouragement. I'm grateful when you tune in. I'm grateful for your texts and your phone calls. Thank you. Thank you don't have to do it. You really, really don't. Um, so the fact that anybody would take any amount of time to show care and kindness to me just means the world. So, um, had the opportunity to spend some time with a few of my favorite people this week, uh, and they include mom and dad. Now, I know that we're all supposed to be on the stay-at-home orders, but y'all, like, I, I had to, you have, you get there and you know you gotta put your eyes on, on folks to make, just to make sure, because your eyes won't deceive you, um. You hope anyway. So got a chance to let me put this up. To go home, spend some time, and um just not not that I wasn't already slowed down, but really taking the time to just stop and appreciate like every good and perfect thing amazing and my time with mom and dad made me reminisce i can't help but reminisce every time i go home um there's so many things that were fun and enjoyable about growing up and uh one of the things that i remember now I don't know why she did this, um, but I remember, and maybe your family has done this too, okay? You can chime in if you have, but growing up, every once in a while, mom um, would make a big breakfast for dinner. Was that just my house or did y'all do that too? Hi, Teresa. <laughs> did y'all do that growing up? Hi, Millicent. Yeah, so um, she would um, make these big old breakfasts at night. And I'm telling you, it was so much fun. I don't know why. I think it was just like, just the switch up. You know, why are we having pancakes and, you know, grits and eggs and all this stuff at night? Doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense, but it was just, I don't know. It just made things super, super cool. So, guess what I'm doing tonight with you? Yep. <laughs> yep. We are having a breakfast or brunch for dinner tonight, okay? And I'm gonna make one of my dad's favorite things, which is French toast. And I'm gonna do it on brioche bread. We're gonna have some bacon. I've got some um, grits already cooking. I've got some stewed tomatoes already cooking. And um, we're gonna scramble up some eggs. I got some hash browns. 
why am I cooking all this food just for me? Because I reminisced and I remember how much fun it was. So I decided to recreate that tonight. So that is what we're going to do. I'm even going to booze it up for you a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a boozy brunch and uh, show you a little mimosa drink. It might not be your classic mimosa. You can do this or not. But uh, when I have the girls over, um, normally we do dinner. But I think that the next time we get together, we're going to do brunch. And we're going to have a boozy brunch. And we'll just have you know fun so what do you say we get cooking good looking yeah let's do it right now here we go okay okay so i've got um some potatoes in the freezer i'm gonna take those out put them on the griddle here I've got uh, diced red onions and some diced mushrooms that are going to go there. I just love it. This is my bad. Hey, Viva! <laughs> yes! Viva, I just told them next time we, um, we get together for our girls' night, we're going to have brunch. Okay? So, got my, my nice big granddaddy griddle here, honey. And we're going to... Oh! For the booze it's not just any mimosa we're gonna do a mango mimosa <laughs> honey you should make this for breakfast in the morning yes you should okay make yourself a little boozy brunch for breakfast in the morning or brunch whatever and um make this okay so for all you moms and dads that have been you know holed up at home working and now trying to deliver lessons to your kids this will be a nice little thirst quencher for you okay all right so we're gonna we're gonna first um get started with our eggs i'm gonna crack three eggs i'll show you how to how to do my french my my french toast which is my daddy's favorite breakfast food, okay? So this is how I do it, all right? First thing, you know what? I want to, before we do that, now normally I would like make some home fries, but today I'm, I'm doing some shortcuts, okay? So I'm not gonna make my home fries. I'm just gonna do some Shredded some hash browns, potatoes, shredded potatoes with my um. I need me some um olive oil. That's my olive oil. Here you go. Ooh. Get some olive oil on this pan, and then I'll start to um put the hash browns on there. Okay. Now, it's just me, so I'm not going to do a whole lot. I don't need a whole lot of potato, but I, I just want to show you how it's done, okay? All right, let's, let's get that. That's all I need. I'm going to do a little bit more. I might eat some more in the morning. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes, I will. I think I will. Okay. So we're gonna crank this baby up. I'm going now because they are frozen. I'm gonna let that kind of cook first, and then I'll add my onions and my mushrooms to the griddle. Okay, so there are your hash browns. Okay, uh, let's do a little kosher salt. Put it in my hand so I don't do too much. And pepper. Okay, so let that cook. Now, hey everybody tuning in. Welcome to the show. 
Yes, Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen is live every Friday night at 7 o'clock. The website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls, S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S, and Instagram at Sugar Pearls underscore online. Let's get going. Okay, so I've got my bowl here. I'm going to go ahead and whisk three eggs. I'm only going to do two pieces of toast. I'm going to do two eggs. Two eggs. Two eggs. I think three will be a little too much. Okay? But I do like a nice eggy French toast. You know what I mean? I don't, want, I don't like it dry. I want to know it was, it was nice and battered. You know what I mean? Okay. So you got your eggs. Now, two your eggs we're gonna make a little little mixture I'm gonna do a little bit of cream okay that was okay sugar that's one tablespoon of sugar Cinnamon. I put I do all of that in here first. Some people do the cinnamon on the bread, and that's fine. But for me, um, putting the cinnamon just straight on the bread will sometimes cause it to burn and turn a color that is not very appetizing. So I just do the cinnamon in the egg mixture, okay, and a little bit of vanilla. All right, we're ready. Let's let's whip. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, I said this was boozy, right? Well, guess what? This is just a little bit of brandy, honey. Just a, just a touch. I'm a, just a touch. Okay? Mama, don't laugh at me like that. Okay, that's a touch. Just a little brandy. It's a grown-up brunch. Now, if you're doing it for the kids, don't add the brandy. Okay? But if I'm doing it for the ladies' league, the PTA, <laughs> then we're going to put some brandy in there. Okay? Alright, so we got a little brandy. And this is your egg mixture for your brioche French toast. Okay. Alright. Now, I'm going to Set that aside. The potatoes are really starting to thaw out really good. So now I can put the onions and mushrooms on. I like a lot of onions and mushrooms. I do. Okay. Let, me let you see. <laughs> hey, Lawrence. <laughs> All right. Let's do a little bit of salt on your onions and mushrooms. Ooh, open that up. There we go. See, that's why I put it in my hands so I don't do too much. Just a sprinkle. Pepper. And let it work. Okay. Now while your hash browns and your onions and whatever else you want to add to it are cooking, don't be stirring that round. Okay, let it kind of fry, all right, before you go flipping. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there, let it fry, and uh, what I do want to do is spread it out just a little bit. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Let's make our mango mimosa. Ah. Okay, so while that is going, uh, mango mimosa is going to go in here. I'm going to have some left, of course, so I'm going to do it in the pitcher first. All right? So for your mango mimosa, 
I got the Cheetos vodka. I know. And I'm going to have somebody say, well, vodka don't go in mimosa. It doesn't mind. You can make it with whatever you want to make it with, boo. Okay? It's on you. But for me and my house, we're going to... First, we need to get this open. There we go. Hey. All right. And I got a little um, Moscato Rosé. Okay. So you got Moscato Rosé. Some De Kuiper Peach Schnapps. And Tito's Vodka. It's a, it's a boozy brunch. Okay. Ooh. All right, there we go. Ooh, and the, the hash browns are doing all right. Okay, let's get this open. I'll turn it away from you so that it couldn't backfire on me. Mm. All right. Ready? So I'm going to use this flute as my measuring cup. Okay? I know. Because I don't own measuring cups. That's why. I, I just don't own them. Never have. Okay? So here we go. So first thing we're going to do is add our Tito's. Do one more because I'm making a batch. Okay, you're not gonna drink this in one sitting. This this mimosa is gonna sneak up on your tail if you ain't careful. Okay, now Mama didn't do this growing up now, but this this her boozy daughter here. I'm gonna do one. This is peach snaps now. Schnapps. One and a half. Okay. So you've got your schnapps and you've got your Tito. Okay. Woo. Okay. Okay. Oh, let me, before I do that, let me just turn my taters, okay? See why I say you should not, what Jennifer say? I had everything except for that. I guess I'll be having an orange juicy. <laughs> yes, honey, it's essential. I don't normally keep, I don't drink vodka, white liquor. I don't drink white liquor, period. It's, See what my, my hash browns did? I waited till it got brown before I turned them. Okay, I don't like no white hash brown. Okay. Now you're going to let it cook on that side. Just for a little bit. Doesn't need a whole lot. Okay. Now. Doo -doo -doo. Oh. It's the mango. Go to your local grocery store and get um, the mango juice. You can get it out of the, I got this out of the Hispanic food section. They have mango juice and other juice purees. So you can do that. Add my mango juice. Ooh. Ooh. And a little champagne. Well, it's not champagne, it's rose. It's a Moscato rose. Do not stir it. Okay, throw this away.
And we've got our drink. Okay. Now, I want to... Get these hash browns off. They are done. Oh, they smell so good. And all I did was the salt and pepper. I didn't even do like my normal the uh, Badia complete seasoning or anything. I didn't do any of that on there. Um, but you can. You can add whatever seasonings you would like, of course. Um, I just thought I'd keep it simple, so there we go. Okay, hash browns are ready. I'm going to sit these to the side, right behind you, and my griddle is nice and hot, ready for my brioche bread. But first, I'm going to um, have a little drink, drink, drink. Okay, so I've got some strawberries that I sugared, so it's got like nice juice in it. Yes, honey. They juicy. They juicy, juicy. All right, put that at the bottom. Y'all, you can do this for yourself anytime, okay? It, it don't cause nothing to be good to yourself all right but if you have a boo and you want to do like i got a mango because it's a mango mimosa yes um if you want to do like a romantic drink or something for boo thing when they come over um go and hook yourself up a mango mimosa now, if you don't like mango, then find another fruit um, puree to use. But I saw that they were a dollar a piece. So I grabbed two. Okay. Oh, that's juicy. Okay. And now I'm just going to, honey. When I tell you, ooh, oh, this is, you know how you get the fibers? Yeah, it's kind of fibrous. All right, just got my little, um, All right, and pour. So I'm gonna pour this most of the way and I'm gonna add just a touch more. Ooh, 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 y'all, look how pretty. Oh, I forgot my mint. Bought some mint. And that is your, yes, you're welcome, yes, your mango mimosa from Sugar Pearls, honey. Mm. My go. Mm. Probably shouldn't bring the father into this, but it's good. Mmm. Oh, that's strong, honey. It ain't like, oh, strong. Not that. It's, um, it's one of them drinks when you're kicking it with the girlfriends, you know, laughing, kicking. By the time they get right here, drunk. And look how pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to put that down because I may forget to cook. All right, let's get back to the supper. Okay, here we go. All right, 
So I've got um, some thick bacon. I, I got a really nice thick applewood smoked bacon today. There we go. Don't worry, I'm going to put it in a, a Ziploc bag when I'm done with it. I'm only going to do two slices. Man, they weren't kidding. This is... Oh, okay. That was That is two. I thought it was one. I'm like, oh, Lord, that's too thick for me, Chad. Okay, so I'm going to do two slices. Blah, blah. Now it's time for the French toast. Woo! Yes. Okay, watch my griddle. I'm going to turn. Ooh. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, that's awfully high. I'm going to turn that down just a smidge. And what I'm using um, is a brioche bread, which is really, it's, um, it's sliced pretty thick, but let me show you. Brioche, brioche and sourdough for that matter, they, they can hold up really well against this egg mixture. It's sturdy, but it's still nice and tender. Like it's, it's just soft to the touch. Beautiful bread, really buttery and, and tasty. Um, so I'm gonna dip these. Dip, 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 dip. Okay, turn, dip, dip. There you go. Now you don't want them sitting in here all day. All right, or else it's just gonna fall apart on you. Okay. All right. So I've got all sides dipped. Now what I want to do is take just a little bit of butter. Because I don't want them dirty. I don't want to put them in that. I could have done it in the bacon grease, but I don't want them dirty. So I just... A little bit. Oh, oh, see, I broke one. Yes. Yes. All right. Brioche is down. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Honey, love me some. <laughs> is that the way you like? I love it. Oh my gosh. You guys make my nights every single Friday night. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you tell a friend, share, let them know we eating good in the hood, honey. Share and make sure they go to the uh, website at sugarpearlsonline.com and YouTube and subscribe and click the bell at Sugar Pearls and also watch on IGTV. See, it's getting to me. Mm. IGTV, y'all. Instagram TV. Sugar Pearls underscore online. This is nice. Don't peek at that bread. I know it's tempting. I know it is. Um, you want to make sure that you're only flipping one time. Okay? So when you flip one time, you better be ready. Be ready. Don't go back flipping, flipping, flipping. That dries it out. Hi, Eve. Yes. When Rona is gone, we are 
going to be having some good times. Yeah, good times. These are the good times. That was the right key too. Hey, I still got that perfect pitch, boo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Not yet. Almost though. Almost. Yes. Okay. Now I got a question for y'all. Serious question. Um, how have you been showing kindness during this virus? Okay. I want to hear about it. I want to hear about how you have been showing kindness during this virus. All right. To someone else, not not just to you. It's important to show ourselves kindness, yes, but for now I'm talking about to other people. Now flip. Oh, perfect. Boom. Look at that. Beautiful French toast. That's what you wanted to look like. I, I, I'm, I just know these things. I just know when it's time to flip. Um, what have you been doing? Did you leave a, a case of toilet tissue for somebody else to get? You didn't get the last one? What are you giving, serving, advocating? Oh, I love it. I'm that's my Angela Davis. That that Camille Goldston Bennett, let me tell you, she down there in Alabama shaking things up. Uh, honey. Shaking things up. In the midst of the Rona. Yes, don't sit down on your gifts just because we're in a little season right now. Um, there is still work to be done. Giving, serving, advocating. I love it. Checking in on others. Oh, I love it. And calling to ask how they are doing. Sharing laughs and prayers and conversations. Let me tell you, that's some good medicine right there. That's some really good medicine right there. And Jennifer, you're so funny. You got such an awesome sense of humor. I know you are keeping folks' spirits lifted. Oh, wow. Now, notice nobody said anything about spending any money. Don't mistake kindness and love for things monetary. Don't have to be that. Sometimes... The greatest gift you can give someone is you. The greatest gift. is yourself. So if you are doing that, I applaud you. It's so important because... Uh, especially during this time, it's so easy just to think about yourself and, oh, woe is me. I'm, I got to be stuck here. Thank God I got a house to be stuck in. But, you know, it's easy to get caught in that trap, you know, uh, of just seeing the four walls and letting that get you down. For you, look, we delivered baskets to our members on Resurrection Sundays with supplies. Wow. That's Eve Pouncy Ring. Oh my God. Y'all. That is awesome. That is awesome. I have to show you. Um, and like I was telling you, my sister Cheryl. That beautiful card, honey, You and then she had like some other like a little catch-all basket. I call it a catch-all basket because I can catch everything in it that, you know, I don't know where to put. And some kitchen towels. I got to show you the kitchen towels. They are so cute. Okay. 
The French toast is done, both sides, okay? And now, um, I'm gonna do some eggs. I'm gonna do some eggs. Let me show you my towels first. Now, I thought these were so on time. Okay, so she gave me the little catch-all basket, which is right here. Yeah, I put like bread in it if I want to or whatever. And I also got um, Happiness is Homemade. Isn't that cute? Hold on, I got one more. Let's stay home. Ah, I know, right? Because we stay at home. That is so, it's so sweet. Let's stay home. And this one, it says, that's how I roll. <laughs> because that's how I roll. When I tell you, I got such a kick out of these. They are so sweet. And I I almost don't want to use them, but I will. <laughs> oh, I just love the simple things. This, the simple things, you know. I'm going to just do some eggs right now, y'all. Okay, so... Ramble them up. And um, the way I'm going to do these eggs, I'm gonna, they're just going to be plain old scrambled eggs, okay? Nothing fancy. I'm not even going to add any cheese to it. Um, but what I do like um, when I'm really treating myself is to do like um, butter. I love the way eggs taste when you use butter and not oil. So, I've got butter in the pan. Oh, we're going all out, honey, for this boozy brunch tonight. Okay, that's a lot of salt. That's why I did it in my hand. Okay, not going to put any pepper in it. I want them pure. Yalla. I can't find my whisk. That's all right. I'm gonna... I don't need it no way. When you um doing your eggs, make sure you whisk so you don't have, ooh, don't burn that butter. Get a little bit of air in there. Okay, so go ahead and pour it in. Man. I did it too fast. It should have sizzled, but I, I did it too fast. That's all right. You love me anyway. That's why you tune in to watch my beautiful mess, child. This ain't perfect, Chad. We, we just here having fun. All right. Let's clean off this stove. Turn them eggs up. Ha ha! Oh yeah, baby. Okay. Okay, so I put my eggs in a little bit too early, but that's okay. What I'm not going to do is just sit up here and stir, 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 stir. I'm going to give it a minute just until the bottom starts to turn opaque. And then I'll just start to kind of scoot it on, on the pan. I'll show you what I mean in just a sec. Right after I have a sip of this uh, mango mimosa. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, okay. So now it started to turn opaque a little bit. I'm just going to start to kind of scoot it in the pan just like that. See what I'm doing? Now, some people like to scramble their eggs in the pan and then you have like little crumbles. I don't like that. I like just nice folds of egg. And this is also the way my father eats it. Kind of soft, 
um but just nice folds ain't no ain't no um little egg crumbles going throughout okay now pull that off the stove oh yes honey i'm gonna just flip it once it's not an omelet but you still want it pretty and you see how how pretty and yellow that is i know it's kind of hard to see with this light but um let's start to plate now okay oh my goodness you're here <laughs> cheryl she said you're a mess no you're a mess all right okay so i've got my favorite big white plate i've got my french toast ready to go and I'm just going to slice it up. All right. Ooh, we. It's plating time, baby. That's my thick applewood smoked bacon. And some eggs. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. A few little strawberries. Oh, don't worry. I ain't going to forget my grits now. I got a little grits. Yes. I can't hear my mama now. That's why she's so big old now. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Believe it or not, I really don't eat a lot of grits. But when you're doing a, a brunch, uh, and especially a boozy brunch, you want to make sure you got some grits. Kind of sop up all that liquor. <laughs> so I got some. I've got some stewed tomatoes that I'm just going to spoon on top. Oh, Lord Jesus, these tomatoes look so good. Wow. And for the record, sugar does not go on grits. I don't know who doing that and why, but that, that ain't the way it's done. No. It's a cereal, but it, it's... Mm -mm. No, no. You give me some. Man, I forgot about my hash browns, honey. Ooh, I'm going to do the hash browns right here. And a little right here. Oh, my, my, my. My, 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 my. Show look. Good tonight. Mm, 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 mm. Honey. Stick that right. Oh. Before I do that, child. A little powdered sugar. Before I do that. Let's do some of those strawberries. Remember the strawberries? I um uh, let me show you. The strawberries we put in the bottom of our mimosa glass. We're just going to drizzle them on the arm. On the. Yes. Like that. Y'all. Oh, I want you here with me so bad. Okay. Hold on. Little ready whip. can't get this thing open. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. 
shake, rattle and roll. Shake, rattle and roll. <laughs> I know it is. Okay, let's put it right there. Mm hmm And a little strawberry right there. And a little powdered sugar on top. Honey. Yes. It is brunch for supper tonight. We've got our thick cut applewood, applewood smoked bacon. We've got our boozy brioche French toast topped with sweetened strawberries and powdered sugar and whipped cream. Uh, some hash browns with onions and mushrooms and some nice buttered scrambled eggs along with some nice white hominy grits and stewed tomatoes. Honey, if you ain't never been to Lynchburg, South Carolina, mm -hmm, this is how we do. Mm -hmm. This is how I roll. <laughs> like my towel said. This is how I roll. Let's go. See, uh, not everybody eat their cooking, but I eat mine, honey, because it's good. Mm-mm. 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 Because it shouldn't be this good. And the brandy that I put in the egg mixture for the brioche French toast is... Mm. It don't taste like liquor. You know what I mean? It don't taste like, ooh, I can, where it kind of give you that bite. Mm-mm. You just get another hint of umami. It just gives you another little layer of umami. That's all. Ooh, umami. Mmm. Eggs. This was all I needed. I started to make salmon croquettes too, but I did that the other day at Mom and Daddy, so I didn't do that again. Mm. Mm. When I tell you these eggs are like little, little heavenly clouds. I don't even need no no ketchup on my French toast on my um on my hash brown. Mmm. Mmm. Make this for breakfast tomorrow, and your family will thank you. Then you can thank me. Hey now. Mmm. got plenty of food to eat um but I hope that you guys continue to follow the orders of your state take care of one another don't be hosting no parties and stuff like that. don't quarantine parties that's so dumb don't do that like use good judgment People out here dying, dying. I know a man personally who just died this week. And uh, when I could, when I tell you, my heart could not be more broken. Um, 
knowing that he succumbed to this virus. So this ain't a time for you to be um, throwing caution to the wind and hosting parties and stuff, acting like this can't touch your house. It absolutely can. Absolutely. Unfortunately, that's when some people will start to take it seriously when it comes to their door. I hope it doesn't take that. Do the right thing. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Exercise. Think every day about one thing that you're grateful for. Show kindness in one way to yourself or someone else. Because we're all living through this right now and it's not easy, but it can be so much sweeter if we just take care of one another. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you doing therapy with me every Friday night on Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live. Check out the website, check out YouTube, subscribe, click the bell so you know when this video, this produced version is on and you can get updates about that. Uh, you can also check out Instagram TV and I just look forward to one day when this is all over that we have a, a new normal, a better way of being with each other because the old way, eh, maybe it was something we needed to change. Maybe this is giving us the time that we need to slow down and think about what's really important. Who really deserves to share your space and your time? Like, child, life is too short to be miserable. So let's all take the time we need during this time to be grateful, to reflect, and to be appreciative of what is and what ain't remember i love you and i hope you love me back bye